Hello everyone, Jeremy here, and today I'm going to be taking a look at another figure from The Simpsons 25 of the Greatest Guest Stars. This is from Series 2, and this is Mark Hamill. Mark Hamill, best known for his role as Luke Skywalker in the original Star Wars movies, as well as being the voice of the Joker in the Batman cartoons and the most recent Arkham games. Batman Arkham Asylum and Batman Arkham City. So, we see that Mark Hamill appeared in episode 9, season 10 of The Simpsons, in the episode entitled Married to the Mob, where Homer was a bodyguard for Mayor Joe Quimby, and Mark Hamill was a part of a stage play uh, called Guys and Dolls. He didn't have a huge role in it, um, but he was in it, and it was still a pretty good episode. Now, if you can find the Series 2 figures in stores, it might be a little bit difficult because we're on Series 4 right now. So, you may have a hard time finding these in a store, but you should still be able to find them online. And some of the other figures you can get from Series 2 includes Tony Hawk, Lucy Lawless, Roger Daltrey, John and Twistle, Pete Townsend, Maggie Simpson in a pink jumpsuit, and Britney Spears. So, uh, good luck finding those in stores. You may be able to find them on clearance like I did Mark Hamill, because as of February the 18th, 2015, I got him for $5.98 at Toys R Us, and he was also a part of a buy two, get one free sale on all NECA clearance figures. So now with all that out of the way, we're going to open up Mark Hamill and take a closer look at him. And here is Mark Hamill in Simpsons toy form. And I am a bit torn to be honest with you because even though he is very well painted and probably one of the best painted Simpsons figures that I have, everything else is just a bit plain. Um, this isn't Mark Hamill in character. This isn't Mark Hamill playing a a caricature of himself i mean this is like the dude mark hamill you know he's just wearing a standard blue collar shirt and some brown khakis and some casual dress shoes and that's pretty much it and they did a very good job about that you know i like his belt the belt really kind of makes everything pop, you know, because we got standard blue, standard brown, a nice silvery shiny belt with a slightly darker brown black belt or brown belt that matches his shoes. And it's like an everyday dress attire. Um, if you're like a really big fan of Mark Hamill, I can totally see that this this figure would be one that you would want to have. But it is not embellished in any way. And for that reason, maybe this one is one of the, well, more dull characters to get in this Simpsons 25 of the Greatest Guest Stars line. Let's go over some standard points of articulation, and much like the rest of these uh, figures from this Simpsons line, there's not a lot. So, for good old Mark Hamill, what we get is up and down with the arms, and we get side to side with the head, and a little bit at the waist. That's all that we get from these from these characters because they're really just meant to be display pieces, not necessarily highly posable, highly articulated action figures and something to really play with. They're just there for shelf appeal, and they do a very very good job of that. Now that doesn't mean that you can't put them in some sort of some sort of pose and have it look cool, you know, kind of like this cuz it can work depending on the situation that you're in. Now, another thing that I have noticed is that, you know, Mark Hamill does not come with any accessories. And that's something that I think that they are starting to do more of uh, in Series 4 of this particular line. Because uh, I've been seeing figures that come with guitars and the microphone stand for Steven Tyler. And in the Marge figure, she has uh, a hard hat and a, a, a base plate to put her in. And as you can see, Mark Hamill, you may have seen, he's wobbling a little bit as I turn him just like this. And perhaps maybe that's why they included the base plate. Because you see that there? See the wobble? Just to make him stand up a little bit more. But he doesn't have any peg holes in his arms, or in his legs rather, on his feet, to put him on any kind of a base plate. So, yeah, you know, overall, I'll say that Mark Hamill... You know, he's a good guy. I like Mark Hamill. You know, that's why I got the figure. But it's definitely one of the plainer figures in this line. 
Mark Hamill fans, this figure is for you. Fans of Star Wars, fans of Batman the Animated Series. You want the guy behind the voice and the guy behind the lightsaber. This is the guy for you. And I believe he's also going to be in the upcoming Star Wars movie in some capacity. So, just for that, if you want to rekindle your love of Mark Hamill and you like The Simpsons, this is where you need to go. So, got a couple more reviews from this line of Simpsons figures coming up, so please stay tuned for that. And thank you so much for watching, and until then, my name is Jeremy, and I will talk to you later.